Hello lovelies, welcome back to another Timeless Pick a Card reading and in today's video these are messages from your animal companion. Before I get into the readings I want to let you know that I'm doing readings, mediumship sessions with animals this side of the veil and the other side of the veil. I also offer energy therapy and I will very soon be offering animal kinesiology. Uh, so I'll update you on that when it's available. And if you're interested in supporting my work with animals and becoming part of my Patreon community, I will leave a link below the video for that. Now you can choose a reading from the thumbnail or I'm going to choose some cards if you prefer to choose some cards. So you can head on over to the timestamps and choose the reading you want. So this is group one. This is group two. And this is group three. Okay, so one, two, and three. Hello, group one. Thank you for joining me. We'll turn your card over. We've got number 20, Endurance Rock. Right then, group one, let's pick some more cards for you. So I want to get a sense of how your animal companion is helping you and what they might be mirroring to you. Let's have a look at these cards that we've got so far. So we've got 20 Endurance Rock, 37 Gateway and 15 Riding. Are they all in the picture? Those are a bit. Yes, they are. I'm just gonna get a few more of the smaller cards. I'm gonna get that one, this one, and this one. Let's see what we've got here. Ace of Clubs, new situation. 14, the fox, and 11, broken egg. I notice you've got a lot of ones. You've got the ace there and the gateway that adds up to 10, which is one. And then you've got the 11, so we've got one one there. We've also got 14 and 15, um, which that adds up to five, that adds up to six. Those added up together also add up to one, don't they? So I'm getting the sense from your animal companion, especially with this broken egg card and the, the rock card there. Um, I feel like there is some new beginning that you both are going through. Um, maybe there's something that has come into their life that you've started recently, something new to do with them. That could be maybe a new diet or a new medication or a, a new health alternative or a new house or a new exercise program. It could be anything. So I feel that they are mirroring to you. There's like, um, there's a new beginning that is coming, that's come in for them. But I feel that they're, that they're telling you that there's a, there's a new beginning that is underway for you as well. So they're like mirroring you with that. But I do feel that whatever this new start is in relation to them, I think that they've, they've been having a hard time adjusting to it. With this, this is the Endurance Rock card, which is giving me this feeling. And the Broken Egg card, it's like... This broken egg card is underneath the riding card. This is an energy of wanting to be free, wanting to be lighthearted, wanting to have fun, to take flight. But this broken egg card underneath is saying that there's something that's making them feel heavy or holding them back. It may be that they've got a health problem at the moment uh, that they're struggling with, that you've been helping them with, and they've started something, a new regime with that for some reason. Or it could be that they've been feeling tired recently and weighed down if that's the case if they've had less energy than usual which I feel is probably most likely than um than them being ill I feel that they are mirroring you because I think that you've had a lot on your plate group one and that you've been feeling quite burdened and all you've wanted to do is get up and go and free yourself from whatever it is that you feel like you're stuck in at the moment so your animal companion has been mirroring that a little bit too to you recently especially it could be that they've been sleeping more than usual or that they're not in the mood for playtime or that they're not wanting to exercise as much or that they get tired 
quite often, or it could even be that they are displaying signs of stress or being a little bit grumpy. It's obviously going to be different for each animal um, because it depends on your personal circumstances and their characteristics and your characteristics. But there is something that has been making them appear like not their usual selves where they're not full of vitality like they normally would be. And that's because they're mirroring how you're actually feeling. Now, it's possible that one or two of you might not be aware that you're exhausted because I am getting the sense from them that you are exhausted on in some way so it could either be physical exhaustion mental exhaustion or emotional exhaustion it might even be spiritual exhaustion for a few of you some of you might have exhaustion on more than one level okay so take this as it resonates if you're physically exhausted you are going to feel physically tired if you're mentally exhausted you know it can get to that point where you find it hard to work things out or to concentrate or to think things through and you just keep wanting to close your eyes but you don't actually sleep emotional exhaustion that can be that can feel like physical exhaustion because the emotions can weigh us down make us feel heavy or low in mood so take what resonates for you and look at your animal companion and how they're behaving because they are helping you to understand yourself more now there is this new beginning energy that is very strong in this reading we've got the new situation and the gateway card there this gateway card is a sign from your animal companion that they are picking up very strongly from you telepathically, like psychically. They're very, very tuned into your energy and that's why they're showing behavioural symptoms kind of thing, behavioural symptoms um, that actually mirror how you're feeling. So especially if you're not very aware of how you're really feeling, if you've been carrying on doing things, staying busy or just having a lot of activities and you haven't given yourself a break you might not realize how much you actually need to take a break I often see people just carrying on and carrying on and carrying on and then when they do eventually have a break they almost collapse because they haven't realized that they are completely exhausted and depleted of energy so I feel like this is a really strong message for you group one um, from your animal companion at the moment with this fox card here I feel as though because the fox has got some really positive meaning meanings to it but also some quite some challenging meanings and I'm getting the feeling that somebody is draining your energy there's somebody that you are around maybe not all the time but there's definitely somebody that you see or you're in their life sometimes um, I'm not picking up that it's somebody that that you're with all the time but I think there's someone in your life that you that you come in contact with now and again that really takes your energy away from you and it might even seem to you like they're an energy vampire maybe you come away from um, speaking to them or spending time with them feeling exhausted or feeling one or more negative emotions like fear or anger and what I'm picking up there is this person is draining your energy because you have got like a higher frequency than they have because you've done more inner work on yourself or you're more spiritually aware than they are or more spiritually evolved than they are so when you're around them or there could even be more than one person like this in your life actually for a few of you it, when you're around them it's like your they drain your life force it's not that they're doing it intentionally but it's like you've got more and more spiritual energy you're a higher frequency so when you spend time with someone of a lower frequency that is in their energies in chaos then they take your energy to top them up as I say it's not intentional it's not on purpose but it's to be very aware your animal companion is saying to you they notice the difference after you have connected with that person they notice the difference in you and I am getting this image now spirits showing me an image of a little dog like laid on the floor with its head rested on its paws and it's just looking up at its human with these sad eyes like looking at how depleted the human is as if the animal is trying to communicate with you saying do you know what's going on with you please take notice because I do get the strong feeling for this group that you are not aware of what is happening to you at the energy level well on all levels group one I feel like you need to be a lot more aware of that 
okay? And I'm also getting the message now from your animal companion that they are very, they want to really support you, you know, they they are showing you yourself through their behaviour and they really, really want you to see that, to understand that and to take some action to change um, what you're doing, you know, to be more aware of yourself and to not keep pushing through and keep going or keep doing for things when you're actually feeling burnt out and exhausted and like you've had enough. Your animal companion is saying, set yourself free from one or more of your commitments right now give yourself a bit of a break okay and they would love to have some time with you as you both enjoy some break time together now what I'm going to do is get some of these quick message animal cards to get some messages from your animal now and get three So this is from, these are messages from your animal companion. Please move or clean my bed. You make me so happy. I'm feeling a little blue. Yeah, now it's interesting that the bed card has come up because that does relate to sleep, doesn't it? And I feel that, you know, I sometimes get this card. I pick it for Lily when she changes where she's sleeping, you know, because cats move about every few weeks, don't they? They have a place that they sleep in for a while and then they change it and then they move, you know, they move somewhere else. So it could be that your animal companion is just saying, I want to sleep sleep in a different place but if your animal companion's bed hasn't been cleaned or, or washed in a while then that's a message to do that if not it's just them saying they want to sleep in a different place it might be that they even want to sleep on your lap or on your bed for a while just to help you and support you because I am getting this very strong message of support from your animal companion in this reading you make me so happy this is something that they um they they try to communicate with you telepathically a lot, does your animal companion. They keep saying to you, you make me so happy. I love being around you. Okay, so sometimes if they're looking at you with those sad eyes, it's because they want to be with you more. It's like they want to be in your energy. They want to be close to you and they want to, they want you to be as happy as you make them because this is like, you see where this card has come out here above this fox. There's this, there's this fox character in your life where your animal companion is saying this person is not making you happy and they want to make you aware of that okay it's interesting I'm very drawn to the orange colors here within the two animals there um where the orange relates to the sacral chakra and that relates to our connections, our one-to-one -one connections with other people. And that can very much come up, um, you know, and get blocked that, that area of the body, that chakra, when we've got someone in our life that the relationship isn't balanced and you're giving too much to them because I feel that that might be the case here. With this card here, I'm feeling a little blue. This just confirms what I've been talking about, doesn't it? You're, you're taking on too much at the moment, group one. Your animal companion wants you to know that and they want you to set yourself free and they're feeling down they're like they're mirroring your mood whether you're aware of it or not you are low in mood and low in energy and they want you to know that okay now I'm going to get a few cards from this quick message deck that your animal is giving you some messages now from these are messages from them to you Things that they want you to, to know or to do or, or not to do. Let's see what we've got. Gift or compliment heading your way. They want you to be nicer to yourself. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yes. Don't give up. It's going to work out. Yeah, I'm getting this feeling of you needing to empower yourself, group one. They want you to say yes to yourself and not to this person and not to these all these commitments and burdens that you've taken on. OK, they're also saying yes to this lovely connection that they have with you. They want you to know that you are very connected and you maybe don't pick up on it all the time, but they are communicating with you gift or compliment heading your way I feel like there is um this I'm getting a few messages with this so this is about you being kind to yourself 
you know, giving yourself this gift of self-care and saying nice things to you like other people. You know that the way the way you treat other people and the way you treat your animal companion, that's how your animal companion wants you to treat yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself. Don't give up. It's going to work out. This is, I often get this card, you know, this it comes up if there's been like something that's been going on for a long time that's been dragging on or that's been weighing someone down. This card comes up and this is just your animal companion saying don't worry things are going to work out they are going to get better very very soon as long as you're t making note of all these messages in this reading and taking action on them group one okay so your animal companion is there with you supporting you showing you what you're going through yourself through their behavior and they want you to know that they are with you and that things are going to turn around and get better so i hope you found that reading helpful thank you for listening Hello group two, thank you for joining me in this reading. So I want to get some cards to find out how your animal companion is mirroring you and what they want you to know about yourself, what they are helping you with. One of these. Okay, let's see what we've got. So we've got 10 blessing. We have got eight of spring and 13 climbing. Okay, a few more cards, the smaller cards, just to add to these. One there. We have got number 12 for birds. Get one of these. Five of Spades Originality and one of these. Number 10, The Door. Let's just move those up a little bit, get them all in the picture. Okay. I notice we've got two number 10s. So there's some kind of a, a cycle ending and beginning for you right now. Now, I am getting the impression here, I um, what I'm seeing here is like you are going through some kind of an upgrade at the moment. You've got like a big cycle closing out and a new cycle beginning. And it's like you're in the transition phase and you've got um, a new upgrade coming in. And the way that I'm seeing that through your animal companion is that they might have a lot of energy at the moment. They might be, I'm seeing this image of them jumping around quite a lot, being quite excitable, maybe being quite giddy. It depends on what the animal is. But, um, you know, if it was a dog, it would be happy and jumping around a lot, wanting to play, being quite giddy, maybe being quite loud. Um, if it's a cat, it's going to be quite playful, maybe more playful than usual. And also I'm getting the sense that it doesn't want to be on, the, on its own very much at the moment. If it's another type of animal, it depends on the animal's behaviour. But it it's like... What, how I'm seeing this manifest is that they have more energy than they normally would. That's what I'm seeing coming through. It's like, and, and that's them mirroring this upgrade that you're getting that's giving you more energy. So I feel like you might have had some clarity of mind come in recently, or you might have had like one or two realizations come in for things that you haven't been able to understand in the past. And so your uh, animal companion is mirroring this to you in like, it might seem like they've got a new lease of life or they're just very excited or they've got a lot of energy or maybe they want to be up at night when you want to sleep. You know, there's something a little bit different about them that you might have noticed and they're mirroring that about you. And it could be that you are having trouble sleeping at the moment because when you get an upgrade of new energy coming in, it can kind of make, make you feel awake at night and want to sleep through the day. You know, so that can really mess up your schedule depending what your um, commitments are during the day but I feel like this the energy that is coming in for you that your animal companion is mirroring is about you like discovering new things about yourself so your animal companion might be displaying different behaviors to normal so look out for that they might want to sleep somewhere different they might want to play with a different toy they might want to explore different places to what they would normally do and it's about you this is kind of I'm getting this 
this message about you coming out of your shell more, being more of your true self. So you're going to see that mirrored in your animal companion. I'm also like these two cards in the middle here. I mean, this is lots and lots and lots of energy and activity and movement. So take a note of what your animal companion is doing. And if you've been thinking that something is going on with them recently because they are behaving differently, it's because they're mirroring you. OK, and there's not anything wrong with them. You might I mean, if you feel like they're being a little bit too much, you can always use something like um, flower essences or homeopathy, which are completely natural and harmless to them, but will help them if you feel like you need to just relax them a little bit. Or you might need to take those for yourself, you know, because they can be really helpful when we're going through spiritual changes. So, yeah, these cards in the middle here, there is a lot of energy here. There's a lot of movement and action. It might might be that you're getting a lot of new ideas and that could be reflected in your animal companion being more excitable or like, like I've already said they might want to explore new things or new places or new toys or anything like that okay and that's mirroring you coming into this time of new exploration new adventure and as I say we've got you know we've got these two number tens here and one of them is a door so you have definitely got a new beginning coming in for you this climbing card here is really interesting in this reading for you group two it might be that you see your animal climbing more or jumping up more jumping higher more often you know and that is like um a reflection of you going up, of you going up higher. They're showing you that in, in that way. Um, I also see this, so this climbing card of you climbing higher in one or more areas of your life. It could be to do with work, getting a promotion or getting to a better position or, or however that relates to your circumstances. It might not be to do with work, but it could be that you are feeling like more on top of the world, more energy getting higher. It's like um, you might even an experience like being spiritually high do you know what I mean where you feel full of energy you feel very awake very aware very clear-minded things make sense you get these realizations and epiphanies coming in where um, things might have been slower or blocked for a while so you might even see your animal companion um, like learning new things, you know, especially if, if it's a if it's an animal that you've been training or trying to train, they might be very good at doing that at this time. Because I feel like the general energy overall for both of you, you and your animal, is this this energy of improvement and of upgrade. Okay, so watch how that manifests in them because they're reflecting how it's manifesting in you. Okay, let's get some more cards now. What I want to do. Um, is get some of these animal message cards to get some messages directly from your animal to you about then that's come out I need clean water so this is your animal giving you some messages okay about them what they want you to know about them So we've got, I know what you're thinking, I want to spend more time outside and then we've got the I need clean water, okay. So whatever your animal is, I mean they need their water changing a minimum of once a day. However, I am picking up another message here with this card and it might be, um, especially if it's a dog, it might be that they like spending time through in the water at the moment or by the water more than usual, you know. And I feel that this is a message for you about to, from them to you about you needing to keep yourself cleansed, your energy cleansed, allow your emotions to flow because anything to do with the water connects with the emotions and it connects with cleansing. So that could relate to you in more than one way, group two. It could be that you need to cleanse your energy, cleanse your home, remove, get rid of your belongings if you don't use them anymore. It could be that you need a clear out in the fridge. I'm getting that for one or two of you. Um, but I am getting this message for some of you that you need to pay attention to the water that you're drinking where the water might not be as clean as it could be you know it may be that you need to get a water filter or you need to put some crystals in the water or you need to energize the water in some way you can do that yourself by putting your hands on the water and channeling light energy into the water I feel that there is an issue around the water at home so have a look into that and your animal 
companion has noticed it and they want you to be aware of that. So take what resonates that is relative to your situation. Um, and bear in mind that we are made up mostly of water. So your water that you drink and that they drink needs to be a very, very high quality because that can really affect you. This, I know what you're thinking. This is a lovely card to get, um, especially with the birds because the birds can relate to signs and omens and also spirit. So this, I know what you're thinking card here is your animal companion saying that they are very tuned into you, to your thoughts, to your feelings. It's like they're picking up on your energy very, very strongly. So they know what you're thinking about. And I'm also getting the message that sometimes they try to put messages into your mind from them to let you know how they're thinking, what they're thinking, how they're feeling. Um, but you wouldn't know it was them communicating with you because it would come in as your own thought. But I do feel that they pick up on you really, really strongly. And this card here, I want to spend more time outside. Yeah, your animal companion, that's an obvious message there. They want to spend more time outside. Um, if that's a dog, they want to go out walking more. They want to play outside more. If it's a cat, they want to have access to outside more of the time. Even if it's another animal companion, they're asking you to allow them some time outside. Um, but this is also a message for you, group two, to say to like spend more time in nature, which is something that you can do with your animal companion, depending what animal they are, you know, especially if it's a dog. And, you know, it's interesting. It's come out over the this card here with these like trees because uh, I, I do feel this strong message of spending time in nature because nature is very de-stressing it's really good for cleansing your energy because I feel that that's so important for you at the moment group two and it will also help your animal you know because when your own energy is cleansed and clear they pick up on that and it feels better for them as well so spend more time in nature Okay, I'm going to get some of these message cards now. These are messages from your animal companion. That one just flew out and fell on the floor face up, so we'll have that make a start. So these are things that they want to say to you, for you, from your animal. So they're saying make a start. And we've got the door, haven't we, the new chapter. So they are confirming with that card that you have got this new beginning coming in. With this card here, this finger on the forehead, I get the feeling that you're going to get some inspiration come in, group two. And I do feel that your animal is very closely connected with this because it's, it's almost like I'm getting the feeling that they're a little bit of a muse, you know, because certain things that we do, help us to connect to the creative energy more strongly, like being in nature or snuggling an animal companion, you know, so those things could work for you if you want to think up some new ideas. You've got not what you think, and just get one more. focus okay so I'm picking up the message that there's something that you believe at the moment that isn't true and I feel that it's about yourself and I also feel that it's connected with something to do with this new beginning where you are thinking something negative about yourself and your animal companion is saying this is not true it it may be that you've got an idea about what you want to do and you're afraid to move forward with it because you think it's going to be a certain way and your animal companion is saying no it's it's not what you think. It's not what you think it is. I feel that they are saying to you to be very kind to yourself, to focus on the positive and don't focus on those negative thoughts that the mind brings in, the ego brings in that tries to stop you from doing something because you think that you won't be any good at it or you might fail. And focus is connects very much with the mind about really focusing the mind. So this could relate to you really needing to concentrate on something or it could be about focusing your energy on something or it could relate to having that mental focus, you know, not letting your negative thoughts take you down a dark path. I, I feel that there's a very strong energy with that, um, especially with these two middle cards and with that image there, that there's like this mind energy coming in for you. So I feel that your animal companion is trying to help you by sending you messages telepathically to uplift you, to keep you going, to support you and to say positive things to you, to try to counteract any negativity that your ego mind might be putting upon you and the, your animal companion is saying to you as well with this focus card be very aware 
focus on staying present and being in the present moment and being very self-aware of what is going on, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Okay, group two. I really hope that reading has helped you. Thank you for listening. Hello group three, thank you for joining me in the reading. We'll get your cards now. So I want to find out what your animal companion is helping you to understand about yourself. We're going to do that first of all. And then we'll get some messages from your animal companion. So we've got six strength, eight ignition fire and seven empowering. Wow, you've got a very, there's a very strong forceful energy here. We've got the red energy there. Look at that, that fire energy and empowering. Look at that. We've also got six, seven and eight. So I feel like there's a message here about you moving forward really quickly with something. Something is happening very fast in your life. And I'm getting the sense from the six of strength card that... Um, so what I'm going to do is just talk about how this might be mirrored in your animal companion. So I feel that there's something happening very big and fast that your animal companion is picking up on, but this is to do with what's going on in your life. It might be yours and their life. There could be something connected with home that's affecting you both. That's something that's quite big. Okay. And it's just this six of strength card here is giving me this impression that you are wanting to slow down you are wanting to take a step back you are wanting to put a pause on things and so your animal companion might be displaying that in wanting to hide a little bit or feeling a little bit withdrawn or being a little bit quieter or wanting to sleep more you know I'm getting this sense of them wanting to pull away a bit more I'm getting this this word of hiding 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 that maybe they're wanting to hide because something it's like there's some big fast change going on in your lives at the moment for both of you and I feel that yeah, as I say, I feel that you're wanting to pull away from it and your animal companion is mirroring that in their behaviour where they are pulling away. It might even be um, for some of you, remember these are general readings, so just take the bits that resonate for you and your animal companion, but it could be that your animal companion has been a little jumpy recently. It might be that they're, that they're displaying a little bit of anxiety or even they might occasionally run away from you and it's not that they're running away from you. It's just how they're feeling or how they're mirroring the energy. It's like... I feel that they're picking it up as being very intense. There's some big intense thing happening. They're picking up on the intenseness of the energy of this thing. And so they're reacting to it as well, you know, and reacting to you to you as well. Because you're I think that you're reacting to it in a similar way, like the energy of it, it's too big, it's too much, it's it's like it's overpowering you. And so you've got this feeling of, oh, I need to step back, I want to run away, I want to hide. But I, I sense that whatever this is that's going on for you, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't feel like anything bad. It actually feels like something amazing is coming into your life, but you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed by it. So your animal companion could be displaying those kinds of behaviours where they seem to be a little bit overwhelmed, okay? So don't worry if they're jumpy or anxious or hiding. They're, re they're like reflecting the energy of you and of this situation, okay? So with this... Um, this number eight, this eight ignition fire, I'm also getting the message from that card that you might feel like you're juggling a lot at the moment where you've got a lot of activities on the go and it might be that you're wanting to um, step back from more than one of those. So your animal companion might displaying might be displaying that as in they don't want to interact as much or they're not wanting to be as playful as much. You know, they might wanting they might be wanting to sleep more because they're mirroring what you're feeling and thinking that you just want to step back for a moment, okay? But this empowering card here, yeah, I mean, this is a number seven energy and that is about retreating. So I'm getting the feeling here that whatever this is that's going on for you, you would benefit from a moment stepping back, like, for example, giving yourself some healing or meditating or going into contemplation mode or listening to some peaceful music and I think that that would really help your animal companion as well if you for example 
put some calming music on, they would benefit from that. Or if you did a meditation, they might want to spend time with you while you're meditating because that will bring in this sense of calm that they will like to be in that energy, you know, so that you can both benefit for it. I don't know about dogs, but with my cats, they sometimes join me when I'm meditating because cats are very meditative anyway. They're very peaceful creatures usually. And, and it's this energy, that's the energy of the cat that I'm picking up here where like it's saying be more like the cat so even if you've got like a dog it might be behaving more like a cat at the moment but I, I also see in this image here that your um your animal companion feels it's like they feel very very close to you there is something about your connection with your animal companion that is very very deep very close and they they pick up on you so strongly and they just want you to know that they just want you to be aware of that but not to be afraid of it or not to feel guilty or anything like that but it's just that you two have got a very very deep bond that I'm picking up on and with this elephant energy here because the elephant can relate to like going back in time quite a long way um, and I do feel that you two have got like a past life connection and definitely a soulmate connection okay and I'm getting the message that for most of you listening to this reading your you and your animal companion have been together before in other lives as human and animal companions you know where they have helped you so let's get some cards now that relate to um these are cards from the, um, actually, no, I'm going to get some of these smaller cards, these first. Let's get some of these. Oops, big chunk. I'll shuffle those back in. I'm throwing them around today, aren't I? So uh, this is some more information about what, they're, what they want you to know about yourself, what they're mirroring in you. Let's see what we've got. Flat one, okay. We've got 31 flat tire, 28 the gentleman, and 10 of diamonds elevation. So you have got six, seven, eight, two tens, and you've got an ace there as well. So you've, you haven't got nine. Nine is a number that's missing here. So this is interesting. So that's telling me like this big thing that is going on for you at the moment. This isn't an ending. It's not leading to an ending because you've got the nine number missing. This is leading you to a um, higher position with this elevation card. This can relate to like stepping up in one or more areas of life, okay? So take that as it resonates. For some of you, this could relate to a connection in your life where some of you might have met somebody new and you're feeling quite overwhelmed by their energy or you're feeling quite overwhelmed by how fast things have happened or by how much you're connected. That won't re resonate with all of you, but for some of you, it could do, could relate to another person. But this could relate to like the masculine energy within yourself, which is to do with assertiveness and being empowered and being confident where um, like you might be, you know, I've been talking about wanting to run away and hide. So I feel like there's this energy of um, for some of you where there might be a person that you need to confront, but all you want to do is run away and hide from them and not confront them. And But the energy that is coming in, I feel that there's more than one message going on here for you group groups three um where there is a big situation going on for you definitely i've spoken about that but i feel that this with the gentleman card is something different where you are kind of stepping up your power stepping up your energy and needing to become more assertive and more empowered and more confident and have more self-belief those are the masculine qualities so i think that your animal companion you're kind of wanting to go into the feminine energy of retreating and step stepping back and your animal companion will be mirroring that to you but what is coming in for you is that you are going to be stepping out of that and empowering yourself more so if your animal companion has been more withdrawn or more quiet or more anxious remember that they're mirroring you and as you step into your power you might see changes in them as well this 31 flat tire card here there is a situation that you are feeling very tired with and it could it could involve another person there is something that I feel that has been dragging you down that has been weighing you down and that you've been wanting to get away from um that's those two cards there but this energy is saying that you are going to break out of that quite strongly okay so 
your animal companion is just giving me the message now that they are helping you to be more confident. They're saying to me that the other lifetimes that you've been together, there's been like you've been learning similar lessons here where you've been needing to step into your power more and they've been helping you do that in the past. So that's wonderful because it feels like it's really coming in for you, especially with this elevation card, you know. I feel like this is a lesson that you are going to like um succeed at in this lifetime. And that's one of the I'm getting that this is one of the like big lessons that your animal companion is helping you with in this lifetime group three now i'm going to get these are messages now from your animal companion about them and what you, they want you to know about them okay we've got i understand you more than you know yes i need a cuddle and you're amazing isn't that interesting that one has come out i understand you more than you know um because i've been talking about you knowing each other in past lives and i also said there from that image there didn't i that i feel that you two are very very deeply connected that you've got a very deep bond um it's interesting we've got this golden energy here and there's that golden energy between you there because this is that light this is how i feel that you two are very connected in the spirit realm and that's why they know you that's why they know you um really really well and i'm i just i paused them because i was just getting a message that they know you better than you know yourself that's what they're telling me that they know you really really well and they yeah they say they know you better than you know yourself so i need a cuddle didn't i mention about um maybe meditating and that they might come and sit with you or lay with you while you're meditating they want to be really close to you your animal companion you've got Got this wonderful deep connection and they want to be really really close to you okay and you're amazing yeah I mean this is this lovely connection that you've got with them they it, it's like in the spirit realm it's like you two are best friends you know because their soul and your soul in the spirit realm you're very very close they are definitely your soulmate and possibly even more especially in the spirit realm in other lifetimes you know in other life experiences and they want you to know that you're amazing just in case you ever doubt yourself group three because i think that some of you do don't you now we're going to get some more um cards from this quick message deck so these are things these are messages from your animal messages that they want to give to you about you okay something that they might want to help you with very soon stay out of your head and you're on the right path. Okay. So whatever this big thing is that I spoke about earlier in the reading, I feel that it's this very soon card. I feel that it's um, going to complete or, or settle down or um, organize itself, whatever it is. I don't, f I feel like the intensity of it is going to close out very soon. Okay. I did say that I, I didn't see any endings and I, I don't, I don't see an ending here, but whatever this intense situation has been, it's like it's, it's almost like it's been up in the air and now it's going to come back down to earth and settle and you're going to feel more grounded in the situation. Okay. So I feel that it, things are going to just settle. Settle is the word that I keep getting in my mind repeatedly. Things are going to settle. Stay out of your head. Yeah. I've mentioned that about you wanting to retreat and hide because you might feel overwhelmed or you might feel like you don't want to confront someone or you might be afraid of your own inner power and I feel like your mind might be saying things to you to um, talk you out of doing something or talk you out of saying something or talk you out of the the like knowing the wonderful beautiful amazing person that you are so don't listen to those ego thoughts group three stay out of your head your animal wants you to know that okay and you're on the right path so the the message i'm getting here from your animal companion is that you might have been having some doubts about what you're doing recently or a direction that you're heading in in one or more area of your life and they want you to know that you're going in the right direction and that you are on the right path and if this new direction relates to this new energy here this big energy that has felt overwhelming if it's if it's to do with this path that you're on your animal companion is there saying don't worry, it's all going to be okay. I am with you. I'm supporting you. I'm helping you. You are going in the right direction. Please don't worry about this. And don't be afraid. Step into your power. Okay, Group Feet, I hope that you found that reading helpful. Thank you so much for listening.